In this video, exciting news about Jarvis boards. Stay tuned. Hi everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we are going to continue working on our San Marcos model stand-up paddle board. This is a design, a design by Jarvis Boards, and uh, we've got some exciting news today. Uh, we haven't really talked a lot in an introductory fashion in some of the recent videos. We've just been jumping right in and getting some more work done, and in a pretty detailed fashion. Uh, but we do have some exciting news, and I'd like to share that with you. I have been in contact with Eric Roberts. Eric is the new owner of Jarvis Boards. He has uh, recently put out a new series on YouTube about how to build these boards. And uh, so I had been following that, watching those videos, because, you know, you can always learn something. And uh, so I like those videos. And then uh, we've had some direct contact with Eric and we are becoming a sponsor for Jarvis Boards. And so our videos sometimes really get down to the nitty gritty and, and super detailed. And I am in hope that uh, the documentary or the playlist series that we're doing would help the next builder, uh, as well as those videos that, that Eric has come up with. So anyway, we're glad you're here. Uh, the rest of the news is that we are going to be a sponsor now for Jarvis Boards. And so if you have any interest in building a board, uh, we have in our description a link and a code that will get you a discount either on, I believe, uh, uh, the plans <clears throat> and or a kit. So anyway, we're glad you're here. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, uh, welcome back. And today we have got this completely skinned on both sides now. We are gonna cut off the, the excess on the edges and uh, try to start shaping the rails and try to get her a little bit more smoothed down. So anyway, glad you're here. Let's jump in and get some work done. Uh, do look in the description for the link to the Jarvis Boards website and the discount code if you're interested, and uh, good luck. So the question now is, how did we do? We've got all the strips on here, top and bottom. Uh, this is actually the deck, and our next step is actually going to be well, we got to take that tape off of there and then we're going to need to trim all the way around the rail that's down here and try to see what our overall shape looks like so i can lift this up we can see that for the most part our strips have matched up pretty tightly with this side rail and you can see how much we need to cut off I don't really see hardly any gaps at all. I know we had this one spot back here we were pretty worried about how it was coming through, but we're actually in really good shape. So that'll be the next thing is to cut off these, cut off, cut off all this excess. Now the other thing we need to worry about and worry about soon is drilling some little pilot holes where our screws for our handle's gonna go. Probably dry, drill a little hole in the middle here where the uh, blocks are for the leash plug attachments. There's one here, one over there, up there, and here. And then we're gonna we're gonna take some like uh, meat packing paper, and we're gonna make a template of this so we know exactly where this is. Because part of part of what we do is well, here we already have a hole drilled in here for the uh, air vent but then this part you see these three lines on here this is for the where the foam is for the fin box but the fin box doesn't go on this side it goes on the bottom and I don't have it marked on the bottom so we're gonna have to make a template of this 
know exactly where this is, flip it over, and then we'll mark it on the bottom where that goes. So overall, pretty happy with how the stripping on this has gone. I think we got some nice pattern on there, and we did that by uh, paying attention to how the grain was running and using strips that were uh, in order as they had come off the saw. So in other words, when we ran the, when we ran the board through the, the table saw and we're making our quarter inch strips, we stacked them up as they were coming off. So as a result, you have grain patterns, like you can see this red, and that's, it just corresponds one strip to the next. Same thing in, in, in this stuff here. You can see how it feathers out back here. So I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Clearly we have a lot of sanding to do and uh, some finish work. I have ordered fiberglass cloth from US Composites. So I'm looking forward to getting that in anytime. I think I ordered four ounce cloth. We'll talk more about that when we get to that part. Okay, we're gonna try to start cutting these edges off of here. Um, I have to tell you that it makes me a little bit nervous, but then I kind of have to say, what's, what's the worst thing that could happen? I think in order to do this, we're just gonna turn it over. Oh, this other side's so pretty. Wow. That's the bottom. That's, that's pretty. Okay, so now that, that makes it look better. We should be able to we should be able to take our saw and just we'll just go slow and uh, just just cut off the excess here. Obviously not staying right on there because it's hard to cut in a curve, but uh, it just gives me a little more room to be able to get that saw in there and, and maneuver. And we don't have to get it exactly perfect flush with that because um, we're going to be able to, to, you know, sand it or use a rasp or whatever we need to. Uh, boy, that's going to be going to be fun to flip it back over and see see what it looks like. So this is nerve wracking. Okay, so I flipped it back over. And so this is the deck that we've been working on. And you can see that we got the edges trimmed off pretty good. We didn't split any pieces of cedar, which is good. There's still a little lip on there. See there, um, that's fine. We'll use a rasp or sandpaper and get that, get that knocked out. Now, the other thing though, is that I'm gonna wanna do my, uh, template so I know exactly where our blocking is but uh, how about that it's really starting to look like something yeah this is getting cool
cutting, trimming, planing, shaping. We probably spent a couple of hours just on the rail. After that, we started working on uh, smoothing and planing the actual deck, so the top of it. You'll see that here in a second. get too carried away and destroy my marks. I better figure that out. I know that this is 10 and 3 quarters. Tail. And we're going to come up the middle of that. 10 and 3 quarters is our first mark. Then 18 and three quarters. That tells us that's where our box is. Now that's the center strip here. It's got mahogany on each side of it, and that's the middle. So really, we could just draw that out right to there, and that's going to be our, and that's where we're going to go with that thin box. And I don't know, if, I think it probably needs to be further back, not too far forward. We'll do some research on that and see. There's that fin box. You know, if we just center that right there, that's probably going to work out just fine. Let's just uh, let's just drill a hole at both ends of it, and then we'll know. This is the other thing I was talking about. We're going to make a little pattern for this, like there. So we know exactly where those things are in case we would lose track of our hole. Tail. Air vent. Cool. You run this out all the way up to here, and then I'll know I'm good. So I've got it taped down back there. So I'm just gonna cut this like right on where that line is. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wish I'd have, let's pull that over just a hair. Yeah, that's, that's good.
if we can cut this off of here. Let's cut this all the way across. Okay, so we got four, four attachment points, and there's one right there. And the other one should be right back here. I got tape over it, so that's funny. Right there. called the bow and uh, least attachment points, least plugs, attachment points. All right. The only other thing is where this handle goes up here. And I've got I've got two holes drilled. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure from the end of the board up here and we'll just write it on here. That first hole's at 63 and a quarter. Handle. 63 and a quarter. And the next one is at 73. That should work. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.